welcome back video number two so um today i'm going to do a plan with me but i wanted to start by doing a little kind of focus on a shop that i actually absolutely adore i want to kind of do this um for each video if possible i'm going to try and do a focus on each shop just to highlight um how amazing these shops are so these are from oh hello feelings now a lot of you might um know them as a sunday and serenity so georgia is absolutely amazing i am so happy that she's brought the shop back she's been through a lot unfortunately um and i can totally empathize with that i've been through a similar thing myself and it's just so so lovely to have her back um, so I did a, a recent order. Now some of these I think are from a charity bundle. So there's quite a mix here of different ones that I picked up and part ones that were part of the bundle. So these are from Oh Hello Feelings. I will put the information um, down below. But just yet, yeah, so for those of you that knew um, Georgia as Sunday and Serenity, this is what she's producing now. Very similar, same kind of vibe as she got before. Just, uh, you know, slightly different and they're just as beautiful as ever. So go along and um, give Georgia a hello, hello and tell her I sent you. Okay, so our first plan with me. So the first one I'm going to do is in my A6. So I'm going to set this up. I'm going to use this beautiful... Um, journaling kit from Little Bloom Papery that I showed you in my first video in my little mini haul. So what I'm going to do is for the days I'm actually going to bring in these date covers just because I think they just go so beautifully. I mean don't get me wrong the, the, the font and the, the date covers in this is really pretty but I just thought I wanted to kind of match up and I've got these so why not. So let's get going right so i always have a this week page first so what should we do let's get the days down first so we know where we are um i think i'll use the dark ones so i just wanted to say thank you to everybody that has um liked and subscribed and um watched my first video I was really surprised um, at how quickly the, those subs came in. Oh gosh, these are super sticky. It doesn't want to come up. Let's try that again. So yes, yeah, so I thank you to everybody. Um, really, really surprised. Really happy. Um, really made my day. It was so lovely to see that you all seem to enjoy it. Um, what I'll say is I'm still getting used to this camera I am aware that it does time out randomly <laughs> so if there are a few strange jumps within the video then apologies um, I'm trying to keep my eye on it to make sure that uh, it doesn't stop recording and, uh, and time out gosh these are mega sticky But yeah, apologies ahead of time if it does jump a little bit. Okay. Also, I'm uh, doing this on Sunday. I can't remember what the date is. What's the date? It's the 11th and it's super warm. So we do have the door open. Um, so again, apologies if the microphone is just picking up a bit of a breeze that's coming through the door. But it is... Uh, it's needed at the moment, I'm afraid. Quite warm. You can probably hear the hundreds and hundreds of starlings that keep coming in my garden as well, but I think that's quite nice background noise. So, who uses an A6? How many of you use an A6? It's actually a size that I never thought I'd ever use. Um, I tried it a while ago and I really struggled. It just didn't seem big enough for me. But I was actually using the um, the Hobonichi um, A6, the Techo. However, I wanted to go for something a bit smaller because I was just finding I wasn't filling the space. Um, 
since working from home and obviously I don't kind of have as many plans as, as I used to um, with the change of how my job's changed and things like that then I found that the A6 I thought I'd give it another go so the Stalogy has been amazing because obviously it's much more versatile because you can just set it up how you want you can have your days you can have your weeks I don't tend to put a monthly in um, I don't really use a monthly overview oh my goodness that's so pretty look at that oh that is really lovely <laughs> okay and these are gorgeous I think I'll put my this week over one of these oh gosh oh dear me yeah super sticky guys super sticky never mind totally saved right let's find it this week I'll put the dates in, in a minute so what shall we use so I'm gonna go for a um, a trusty clear this week I think from Rebel Ink this smaller one so yeah these are the clear script stickers from Rebel Ink she does a really good range she does a lot of custom ones as well which are really helpful um, which you'll see in a minute I will use a couple of those there we go so as well as these I also have lots of reports at work I have to run so I just like to add a weekly uh, little note over here I have to run the same ones every week so it is a bit repetitive I suppose however it just just reminds me and I don't know if you like me but with a to-do list I just like getting things on there that I can tick off every day and just see see that I've done so I tend to add one of these this kit gosh oh it is beautiful it looks even better when you put it on the page as well just those colours oh it's really pretty and then I also just put a little list for happy mail as well so let's use this swish we all know we've pretty much always got happy mail <laughs> that we're waiting on so some of my other favorite scripts are from a shop of a very good friend of mine so Erin at Silent Beauty blah, 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 blah. sorry Erin Erin at Silent Beauty Plan she does these tiny scripts and they're just super cute and I just find them really helpful again because they do fit in any size planner so I've got a number of these so again she does these custom so if there's any in particular one she's got lots and lots of choice and she does do a lot of custom ones as well okay. the only thing I wish is that it was on clear <laughs> just so it matches the others but I don't mind I know clear paper is a nightmare I recently bought some myself um, I do have um, a cutting machine I have a silhouette so I do occasionally use printables and things like that so yeah I will be bringing those in so let's add the dates so what day is it on Monday 12th really really <laughs> so these are some lovely little date dots that I had from um, a mundane life I bought these at um, I am ripping everything today I bought these at the planner meet I was at last not last Sunday, the Sunday before gosh, wow that's gone quick two weeks ago goodness me anybody else is you're getting older that time is just absolutely flying by and I mean technically 15th we're going into the middle of June I mean that's mind-blowing in itself middle of June goodness gracious me 
stain. So what I'm going to add this week is rather than doing my graph in my um, Home and Itchy, my tracker graph, I'm actually going to do it in here. Um, I'll show you, I have done one previously, let me find it. So I've been doing it in the, in the Avec, but this is more, this is more of my functional planner, this is the one that I'm looking at and that I'm adding in every day whereas my other one's more of a, a memory planner so I was thinking even if I transfer it from here into the you know into my um into my cousin um eventually then you know that's fine because that's what that's there for it's to hold that kind of memory but this is my what I go to all the time this is the one that's open on my desk all the time so this is one I've done previously now let me just bring you in a little bit okay so I did get asked in the comments how we do this and have the various graphs on the same tracker so basically it's just a matter of colour coding so I do a range of 1 to 10 so that can then mean various. So obviously for sleep, my 1 to 10 is hours. Pain, I use it as a, a range from 1 to 10. 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Same with anxiety. So the more anxious I am, the higher that score is. And again with brain fog. So the more foggy I feel um, in my head and kind of my thought process and as you'll find listening to me on here, I lose my words quite a lot and get a bit foggy. Um, so again, that's a it's, a it's a scale again of 1 to 10. 1 being I'm feeling really great with the, the brain fog, 10 being really bad brain fog. So it kind of just depends, but obviously I know what they mean. And then they're just colour coded. So we use the dots, but I do actually like seeing it all together because I can compare it. So, as we see here, I didn't sleep at all on this day, and then my pain was okay, however, my brain fog and my anxiety, worst guy, were right up there. So, and then it kind of balanced here, had more sleep, oh, mm, interesting, my brain fog was a lot lower. So, I just really like to be able to see that and compare and see if there is kind of any, any correlation. Um, I did do a science degree, so things like this, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to data and things like that. Um, and my job is very much based around data at work, so it kind of has that kind of knock-on. So, I'm going to do that again for this week. So, really simple. Um, oops. Put all my pencil out. So yeah, I like to come right across so I've got plenty of space. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So something else I'm absolutely rubbish at is drawing straight lines. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Even with a ruler, I just, yeah. I'm just not very good at straight lines at all. And then I tend to go um, on the line with the day, just again, because it's easy to go up on the graph. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to use my um, Sarasa. Should we take you back out a little bit? There we go. Oops, I'm always going to go the wrong way. There we go. That's better. Sorry about the slight blur when the camera's moving. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Um, Sarasa, it's part of the vintage um, Sarasa range. So it's a nice brown. I thought it would be not quite nice with the uh, with this kit. So, oh yeah, that's with me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 
Not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. Okay, so there we go. So what I think I will always also use is let me just pull in what do I need? I need four colours. Let me have a look. Bear with me. So let's put my other vintage sarasses. So let's go with this blue for sleep. Anybody else absolutely hate your own writing? And then anxiety. Ooh, that is an amazing colour. Use this brown for the brain fog. So, sorry about that, I probably jumped slightly. So as I said, yeah, camera does time out. I think I did catch it just about in time there. So yeah, so just to recap, I've used this blue um, for sleep, this uh, kind of mustardy brown, I guess, for anxiety, the brown for brain fog. And yeah, this week, rather than um, tracking pain, I'm gonna add this russety red. Ooh, that's pretty, in as mood. So again, I'm going to track 10 as a really good mood and one as feeling kind of really low and miserable. Okay. So there's my colours for this week, obviously. And then I'm also going to then use uh, this mod liner to mark off when I've done my different tasks each day. And then I just need a, uh, a dot. So what shall we have for dots? Do I have a dot? Do we think this one? This looks like a colour that's going to match quite nicely for the week. This is actually, um, so I love the dot markers. Um, I'm sure you've seen them. These are the, is this the thing you want? No, bear with me. Do, do, do. So these are the clear dot, the Zig clear dot, dot markers. So these are kind of like, the industry standards, the main ones. However, these are ones that I bought from Amazon and these were significantly cheaper and there was more in the pack, lots of different colours and some metallic ones. And I'll be completely honest, the colours on these come out so much, so much nicer. Um, let me show you. I've swatched them in the back. Let's find them. So these, can you see that? Yeah, so these are the Amazon ones. So these are the cheap ones. Isn't it? I don't know if you're just picking up some of them. These, they, they're metallic and they're just so pretty. Really lovely. Um, and compared to these ones, which are the, the Zig markers. So yeah, they're all, you know, pretty similar. But I just think, for want of a better description, these just are just juicier and they just seem to give a better dot. So, yeah. So, I'll well, let's see that now. So, reports. Here we go. Look, so. There we go. Really lovely dot. What colour should we go with? We use this greeny grey. So, I need to do my daily report. Oh, that's really pretty. These pens look beautiful with this kit. Daily report. Boring stuff guys. Have a weekly vacancy report. Yeah, 
so just lots of work reports I have to do. Okay, so all right, we'll go on and we'll carry on with the week. So I tend to try and keep um, work tasks more fit to this kind of side of the panel. Let's come right back out again. There we go, that's better. So I just tend to use the left hand side more for yeah I'm gonna regret that aren't I yeah that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna go across okay never mind there we go so that's just so I know and this is more just so I can mark them off I need to get some stickers that say daily report or make myself some. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added in all my to do's on each day for work. So uh, that's the boring bit done. So let's put some of this beautiful deco in. So there is so much in this kit. Look at all these bits and pieces. Yeah, beautiful. So let's just randomly prettify. Oh my goodness, okay. Also, because they're super thin, they do just want to stick to the page. <laughs> and they don't come up particularly well, so wow. There we go. Oh so pretty okay, so let's put a little in the corner there we go let's just give each day a little bit of a something something make each one a little bit interesting So, how do you all feel about uh, plan with me's and things like that, where the you know the person that's doing the video is a little bit more quiet? Do you enjoy more of the chatty with someone continually talking? Do you want me to be chatting along, telling you what I'm doing, or do you not mind a little bit more of a um, of a quiet time. Do you not mind when someone goes quiet and just carries on and places things? I mean, I don't mind. When I'm watching um, other channels, I'm watching Pan With Me's, which is one of my main pastimes, <laughs> and halls especially, because you know, I like to be enabled by those halls. Um, then I honestly don't mind. I don't mind if someone's chatting. I really don't mind if there's someone's being um, a little bit quieter. So, what's your preference? Well, let me know. Do you like to hear about what's going on in somebody's life? Do you just want to hear about the stickers? Do you just want to hear about the shops and the planning and the placing? The planner that they're using? Or are you super nosy and... Um, <laughs> want to know everything that's going on for somebody again I don't really mind I'm kind of like oh my goodness this one's so pretty I might have said that a few times already these are just properly gorgeous okay. Friday now I'm going to pop this down here because I need to either get or make myself some stickers that say non-working day um, and that I think would go really lovely on there and we'll bring in this as well as I'm not working Fridays anymore which gosh yeah absolutely loving I mean don't get me wrong by six o'clock on a Thursday I'm absolutely pooped because I've done um, a four weeks work in four days but 
um, the, the extra hour at the start of the day, so I'm starting at 8 and the majority of my colleagues um, kind of come online and start working from 9 and that first hour is just so lovely because it just means that I can just get things done, I can get logged on, I can get on with things before people start hounding me for the things, start calling, having to reply to you know loads of emails and and checking. So I found last week something, a task that generally takes me all morning, as in kind of like nine till kind of one, kind of morning sort of period. Um, actually because I started at 8 I was done and dusted for half past 10 and yeah it was just just really really good just to be able to concentrate and just get it done without kind of any other distractions at all so I'm finding that really beneficial um, because as part of my role as well it is actually an apprenticeship um, a higher level apprenticeship so I'm actually studying at the same time for qualification so that is built into my working week as well so I just find those extra couple of hours in the day um, the one at the end of the day particularly is really really helpful um, just for that study time and to kind of adding my training hours because I have to log everything as well so yeah it's really helpful so yeah so far I've done a week two week week and a half week and a half of um, the new hours and yep yeah, it's early days but yeah definitely seems to be working there's a lot of um, research been done recently though hasn't there I think around the four day working week and productivity and, and that kind of thing so yeah it's ideal ideal I'm lucky I'm in a very lucky position because I work from home and because I'm not what we call kind of like um, participant facing in the role I do so I don't have to um, <laughs> see people basically most of what I do like I say is data driven so yeah, I'm lucky in as much as that affords me the ability to be able to do, you know, the, the four day week. So, yeah, it's great. So this is looking beautiful. I am seriously, seriously happy with this. Let's pop this daisy. It's honestly, the paper is so thin. Can you kind of... Where's the best angle for that? So thin, but like when you put them down, they just. I'm going to pop it over here by my graph because I just think. She's just super pretty. So, I think we'll leave it there for now. I've got plenty left. Um, I may well actually, I think I've got enough here probably to actually put this with these other bits and pieces into my cousin this week so I can have I do I do like to have um my, my week's match in both planners I think that's really nice so I think I could probably do that and they'd fit um so yeah maybe I'll give that a go but yep yeah, thank you for watching again uh again tell me what you think tell me what you'd like to see I'll give you an update on the graph and how that's gone um as the week goes along um when I come to do next week's setup. But yeah, thanks for coming along and thanks for watching. Take care. So I realised after I'd finished and said goodbye that I hadn't actually shown you all of the pages. So here's how the week ended up. Um, hope you love it and uh, take care.